Hello everyone, welcome to MSAPT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to package and deploy a Win32 app to Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. The new Intune Win32 app deployment is a great way to deploy Win32 apps with Microsoft Intune. This Win32 app management capability supports both 32-bit and 64-bit operating system architecture for Windows applications. With Intune, we can easily deploy 32-bit and 64-bit applications to our devices. In Win32 app case, we cannot just upload our app's installation file directly to Intune. It must be packaged using a small command line tool named Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool which we can download from GitHub. This tool archives and compresses the installation file to a .intune vim file and that's what we upload. Also, the packaging tool detects the parameters required by Intune to determine the application installation state. After using this tool on apps, it will be possible to upload and assign the apps in Microsoft Intune console. In the example for this video, we will be working with VLC Media Player. This only has one file, but if your app installer has multiple files with subfolders, that is supported too. Step 1 is about preparation. I have created three folders on C drive. Under VLC folder, we have stored the installation file. Let me show you. In this case, we will prepare the VLC Media Player application. We will use Intune Apps folder to store the output file with .intune win file extension. And last, we will use Intune Win App Util folder to store Microsoft Win32 Content Prep tool. In the next step, we need to download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep tool from GitHub page. Let's open Google and in Google, you need to search for Win32 Content Prep tool. Click on this link from the GitHub. Click on Code. Click on download zip, click on open files, double click on the folder, copy the files and paste in Intune Win App Util folder. So let me select all the files, let's right click on it and select copy. Let's go to C drive, folder name Intune Win App Util and let's uh, paste here. In step 3, we will create the Intune win file. Right click on start menu, select Windows Terminal Admin. Click yes. Navigate to the folder we copied the Intune Win32 content prep tool in. In my case, it will be on C drive with the folder name Intune Win App Util. Let's press Enter key. Uh, let me run dir command. And we can see the application is there with the name Intune Win App Util.exe. Now we need to run the Intune Win App Util.exe command from here. Let's press Enter key. We need to specify the source folder path which is C colon slash VLC in our case. So let me go to the C drive and let's copy the path from here. Okay, let's paste here. Press enter key. Now specify the application name uh, which is VLC in our case with dot exe. Let me copy it. Okay. Let's paste here, press enter key, 
specify the destination folder path which is c colon slash intune apps in our case so let's go to the folder number two uh, let me copy the path and let's paste here again press enter key it is asking us that do you want to specify catalog folder i'm going to type n and press enter key in few seconds the dot intune win file will be ready we can see the file is ready uh, let's go to that folder where we have stored this dot intune win file here we can see the file is ready and the size is approximately 40 mb now sign into the microsoft endpoint manager admin center as a global administrator or an intune service administrator we can access microsoft endpoint manager using the url https endpoint.microsoft.com now our intune vim file is ready and now we can start the deployment of win32 application with intune on home page click on apps under by platform click on windows click on add click on drop down arrow to select the app type this time we will select windows app of win32 click on select button to continue click on select app package file link and select the dot intune win file we just created click on select app package file link click on browse uh, we have stored that file on a c drive under the folder name intune apps let me select the file and click on open here we can see the name size click on ok on the app information page uh, fill in the application information like name description publisher and category uh, let me specify the name vlc media player uh, publisher name is going to be video lan you can enter other information as required i'm going to select the logo file click on browse let's uh, click on downloads and here we have the logo file click on open and click ok click next to continue on the program page we need to enter install and uninstall commands for our application i have already specified install and uninstall command for vlc media player the install behavior is a key option to get it right generally we want to choose system as this executes the installation with administrative rights however there may be a scenarios when you need to execute the installation with user context that time you just need to toggle the switch from system to user next we have device restart behavior we will choose no specific action for device restart behavior we have selected no specific action because vlc media player installation doesn't ask for the system restart lastly in the program options the written codes are used to inform intune if the installation was successful and also potentially triggers reboots these can require looking to the documentation of the app as can they vary from developer to developer in our case uh, we have selected these options as per our application now i'm going to click on next to continue requirements are prerequisites for app installation on clients in scope choose the os architecture needed to install the application we will select a 64 bit you can also select both as well select the minimum operating system needed to install the app as an intune admin you should know what os is installed on the client machines we will select windows 10 21 h1 other options are optional you can use those options if required click next 
For Intune to know whether or not the app is installed, we need to include detection rules. These are mandatory because without them, Intune wouldn't know when to stop trying to install the app or how to report success or failures. We can use a script to determine success or we can use the manual configure detection rules option. With the help of manual configure detection rules option, we can check the presence of a file or registry entry on client computer. Click on drop down arrow and select manually configure detection rules option. To add rule, we need to click on this add link. Rule type will be file. I have specified the path program file slash video lan slash vlc. File or folder will be vlc.exe. Click on drop down arrow and select file or folder exist for detection method. So this rule is basically going to check for the file with the name vlc.exe on this given location. If that file is present on the client computer, then Intune will consider that installation is completed successfully. Okay? Uh, in the next video, we will use a script for a detection rule. Uh, let's click on OK. So we have specified detection rules for this application. And now I'm going to click on Next. Optionally, dependencies are checks in addition to the earlier requirements for other Intune managed apps being installed before this one on a client computer. Remember, dependencies options are optional. Click Next. Supersedence is a new option that allows you to update or replace existing applications. We are not going to use that. And you can see still it is in preview mode. Click Next. We are going to use required assignment option to automatically deploy VLC Media Player on Windows devices. If you want to deploy this app to all the users, then you can click on Add All Users. Let me click on Add Group to select a group which this application will be deployed. From the list, we will select our test group named Test Win Client. Click on Select. Click on Next. On Review plus Create tab, review the application configuration which you have selected. When ready, click on Create. Wait for the confirmation message. Application VLC Media Player created successfully. Currently, it is uploading the .intune win package which we have selected. This will take some time to upload this .intune win package. Okay, we can see the confirmation message, upload of Intune package finished successfully. Let me close it. Perfect. Let me click on Windows Apps and click on Refresh. So we can see VLC Media Player is listed as a Windows Apps. In the next step, let's go to a Windows 10 device. This Windows 10 device is a member of our test device group, Test Win Client. First, we will perform the manual sync with Intune. In the last video, I forgot to show you this uh, page. Uh, here, you can see about the Google Chrome. Uh, we can see the message, enforcement completed. So once the application installed on the client computer, on this page, you can also see the confirmation. And if you have any errors related to that application, here you can also see those errors as well. Okay, sync was successful, but app deployment is not started yet. So I think we need to wait for the app deployment. And when the app deployment will start, uh, you will see notifications in action centers. So notifications will be here. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to uh, start the manual sync. We can see the pop-up about software distribution, downloading and installing software VLC Media Player. 
So currently it is downloading the software VLC Media Player from Intune. And then it will start the installation of that software on our Windows 10 device. Let me again click on Sync. And here we can see the pop-up message that VLC Media Player was installed successfully. Okay, so both messages are there in the notification area, downloading and installing software VLC Media Player and the software installation completed successfully. On desktop, we can see the shortcut icon of VLC Media Player. So we can say the deployment of VLC Media Player has been completed successfully. Let's go to run, type appfiz.cpl and let's check the installation date. We can see VLC Media Player installed on today. So installation is completed on a Windows 10 computer. We also want to monitor the same thing in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. So let me minimize this and let's uh, initiate the sync with Intune. Let's go to Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Let me click on Devices. On the platform, I'm going to click on Windows. Let's click on our device lab win 10 hyphen CLI 02. Under monitor, I'm going to click on managed apps. We can see VLC Media Player has been successfully installed on this Windows 10 device. So we can easily see the status from here, but if you check the apps to monitor the deployment, See, still no information is here. Uh, let me click on device install status. Still no information, but if we check from the device properties, then we can see the deployment status information quickly. So that's all for this video on how to package and deploy a Win32 application to Windows devices using Microsoft Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.